The Bristol County Sheriff wants to make good on a campaign promise to reduce inmate deaths. Hi, I'm Emily Vols. I'm Gene Valicenti. Dan's off. NBC 10's Temi Topa Adelaide takes a look at new suicide safeguards. So we here at the Bristol County Sheriff's Office, before I started, we had a suicide rate three times the national average. And there were a number of things that could and should be done differently that weren't being done. So Bristol County Sheriff Paul Haro asked for recommendations from an expert on jailhouse suicides and started making changes. Haro says 100% of recent suicides were completed with a bunk bed. So bed ladders are being redesigned to eliminate horizontal bars that could be used for hanging. The work is being done by maintenance engineer Daryl Almeida, along with a few inmates in a vocational program learning welding. Window bars are also being modified. The jail will also implement a screening process to stop attempts before they happen. The first 10 days when somebody's the most at risk to uh, commit suicide, especially for somebody who is a uh, young, white male, uh, never been arrested before, in here on a high profile uh, charge, that's the profile of who commits most of the suicides. Not all of them, but most of them. So screening for that is part of how we do things differently. The changes will take about two to three months to complete and cost a little less than $10,000. In the meantime, inmates will be housed elsewhere until everything is done. And the sheriff says that although he knows this will not eliminate inmate suicides, his goal is to not only reduce those deaths, but to also restore hope to inmates. What other things are you doing to make sure that inmates here, of course, are going through that rehabilitation process that they need to go through, but at the end of the day, they're not necessarily hopeless. So by you know, making the beds more suicide resistant, that is one aspect of it, but also restoring people's sense of hope and giving them a sense of dignity, that's also really important. Setting them up with uh, post-release resources, housing, health care, and a job before they're released. In North Dartmouth, Tell me Talk by Adelaide, NBC 10 News.